Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a Fantasy Harvest Moon. So, in the last episode, we, uh... Well, I mean, we started taking a Taurus Cave, and we unlocked the boss. We can take care, we can take care of the boss anytime we want to now. But I'd rather, you know, start working on the Rune Factory, so give me a second to head in and... Actually, I'll head up here first and start watering. So, we... Start by fighting these enemies. Water crops. Destroy this spawner before it can spawn. Break open the right rock. Water crops. Fill up your water as you head back to your farm. Head into Carmite Cave, that way we can water our precious strawberries over here. Which actually will be ready in two more days. Water our cabbages and cucumbers over here. And we're done with the chores for today. So, we're going to be heading up here and... I think we have a tool that we haven't seen in a while. And by a while, I mean literally only two days. Yes, yes I do. Can you forge a tool for me? Okay, here's what you wanted. You got a wood chopping axe. Come again anytime you want a tool forged. Okay, so I'm gonna look into what I can have forged here and what I care about having forged. I'm not gonna have the hammer forged until we're done in Taurus Cave. Not only until we're done, I'm not even sure if then, um, the iron hammer is good enough to get you through up until when you can upgrade tools yourself, so I'm not sure I want to have this upgraded further. Past that, um, I'm still watering a lot of crops right now, so I do not want to do my watering can yet. You know, I might just... I'll do the sickle. You know what? Actually, we don't need any tool forged. Who needs you? But I do kind of need you. Give me a second. I need to sell all my stuff to you. Oh, this is a level 6 iron. Wow, nice. And that's a level 8 iron. Nice. So, we just made over 8,000 G. So I can say with fair certainty that we can afford that uh, medication now. So let's go grab that. That way if we're afflicted with anything except for seal, we're able to cure it. Please, do come in. Can we talk? We have many tomes here. Please, do come in. I'd like a book. Okay, they have the soul craft stuff, just like the first time I came here. I don't want any of this stuff until I can actually start forging stuff, but, you know, it's useful to know about. Oh, Mr. Aguna, please be careful, okay? I worry about you. Uh... Oh, okay, there we go. Medication for 3,000. A magic book left by Legendary Magic Circle. It describes the healing magic medication. You bought the magic book medication. So... Now we could switch over to this and cast it. I don't have any reason to cast it right now, but, you know, we have that option now. Uh, let's go around town real quick and start talking to everyone. You're going to Taurus Cave today? Wow, you really love to explore, don't you? I wonder what kind of monsters live in Taurus Cave. The monsters in Taurus Cave are said to be stronger than in Carmite Cave. Watch yourself. Ah, hey, Raguna, you get up to some interesting stuff, eh? If you find any delicacies in Taurus Cave, you've got to come and sell them to me. I guessed it, Raguna. You're a fighter, eh? Oh, so you're going to Taurus Cave this time, eh? Bring back anything interesting you find, okay? So she's starting to get interest in what we're up to. I'm thankful that I can eat well today, too. Hmm, I don't really know what the forces are that drive you, but if you ever feel like you've lost your way, come see me. You seem to be the adventurous sort, eh, hey, Raguna? Seems like you've your mind's set on Taurus Cave now. Is adventuring your cup of tea? Taurus Cave? Even I wouldn't go to a place like that. You don't want to kill yourself, do you? Is your sword strong enough to deal with the dangers in Taurus Cave? I'd say so, but you know, who knows? You're going to another new cave? What's wrong with the ocean? I just don't get it. You got a pass to Taurus Cave? Just don't do anything too crazy or you'll end up dead. What, you already got a permit to Taurus Cave? Not bad. You want to go to another cave, really? You want to be more careful about what happened to you. Don't you understand that you could die if you collapse there? Yes, Laura, I do know, but I also know that I'm the adventurous sort. Good morning. Well, well, I see that you got a pass to Taurus Cave. I doubt I could persuade you out of going, so I won't even try. Just be careful. Let's head back into Taurus Cave and get some work done. Alright, 
Let's put this axe to some good use. Two, three, four, five, and finally, six. It costs us five per swing, so it costs us 30 RP to break one of these. Now you see why this takes forever. So just for the sake of time for your guys' part, I'm not going to be showing me just cutting all this. There's no real reason to. So when I cut back to this, I'll have this cleared right here. Grabbing rune points, and while I'm here... Hello. You also got a pass to Taurus Cave, eh? Awesome! Well, I've no doubt now, you're very talented, Root Guna. Don't know why I kind of stood there, but I do that from time to time for some reason. Skill up. So it costs me 10 per swing. Good to know. Okay, this is as far as I could get. Okay, and now the bathhouse is open. Okay. Let's plant another crop right over here. Probably another day or two, I think, until the yams are ready. Or sweet potatoes, I think they're called in this game. Another skill up. I'm just using up the last of my RP here. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the last of my runes from Carmite Cave, and then we're gonna go in, take care of the rest of the chopping for the day, and then call it quits. Hello. You know how to use a sword, Raguna? Hey, maybe you used to be a Norad knight. <laughs> just kidding. I can never picture you a knight. I mean, since you came all the way out here... There, that make you happy? Though that might not ship until tomorrow, so... Eh. Oh, hey, Savior. So next is Taurus Cave, eh? Not even I like to go places like that very much, you know? If I let myself get behind here, Miss Feelings might be swayed towards Raguna. Maybe I should go too, hmm. Well, if you're thinking like that, maybe I can cheer you up with a... Medicinal Herb. Thanks, I like the Medicinal Herb. I know you do. It's almost like I will be your best friend or something. Here, we're actually going to check out Carmite Cave to see if there are any uh, stumps in here that I can chop down. I know there's at least one that I can think of right off the top of my head. Might More might have spawned or I might just be forgetting some in general, so might as well check it out. Grab the stuff while we're here and keep moving on. I seriously just got sealed because my game... Okay. It's fine. I blame my game, but it's fine. It's not even my game, it's my capture device. Sometimes, since my computer had a problem, it just kind of freezes up and I just go, Oh, hey, is this part of the game or is this part? No, it's my capture card going black again. Great. That hurts. That hurts me a lot. I can't cast, you know, the cure spell because, of course you can't. So I have to use my antidotal herb. I need to get some poisons, uh, not poison, but seal uh, healing now, but I just have to go out of my way to do it. And now this is going to take forever to get back because I have to walk all the way back. And the award for the biggest waste of time goes to me. So now, because, you know, I can no longer charge my weapon, I can no longer chop down those trees, or at least the stumps. It's rather unfortunate. So let's use up our RP the only way we know how, through wasting as fast as possible. So we're just going to use up all of our HP like this. A bit dumb, but, you know, increases the logging skill at least. Oh. I can chop down these. I didn't know that. I thought you had to have the charge. I guess you just have to have the axe. That's very good to know. Well, don't I feel like a fool? Let's head to bed. We'll have this fixed tomorrow. Hmm. <sighs> 
So we got about 160 wood yesterday alone. That is actually fantastic. We water all these crops. Break open this rock. Probably one more day away, I'm not exactly positive. I know that the uh, sweet potatoes have almost no time on them. Also, I just misclicked once, which means I'm short on water. Skill up. Hey, Laura. Good morning. You were right. That's about as nice as I'm going to get and be. I'm not, I'm not doing the whole, I'm sorry, but you were right. I shouldn't have underestimated them. I don't feel so well. Okay. Can you make me a potion? Alright, combine this with that. One drop of secret flavoring. There, it's finished. You got a recovery potion. If there's anything else I can do for you, you're welcome to buy any time. Can you make me another potion? <laughs> we have two bottles, after all. And now, finally... Can I see your medicines? Okay, so he sells medicinal herbs, antidotal herbs, antidotes, paragons, roundoffs, cold medicine, neutral agents, greenifiers, formula A. That's everything. Um, I will be getting... Um, I'll be buying five of... four of these. I'll be buying four roundoffs, that way I can actually, you know, afford to live. I won't have to deal with being sealed and having to wait to come back here the next day if it's after 6 p.m. already. I'm actually curious. Melody is now one friendship with us. Aww. She likes the fact that we take baths. Nice. Yep, there's a certain energy in the earth around here, but that worries me. Oh, hey, Raguna, how you doing? Hey, Raguna, can you swim? I don't remember. So let's water all of our crops in here. Just one more day until strawberries are done. Hey, Xavier. <laughs> You're welcome. Did you know that there are no seasons inside the caves? In dungeons where you can grow summer vegetables, you can grow them all year long. I wonder what kind of food Mist likes. Do you notice the strange machines here and there in the caves in this town? Those machines summon monsters. You can't make machines like those in this town. Those town people are so laid back, they don't seem to be worried, but I have a bad feeling. But why would anyone need machines that summon monsters? Yeah, that's what I don't get either. What is some... What does whoever made these machines want to summon monsters for? It doesn't seem like they're do trying to do anything with the monsters they summon. Anyway, I'm gonna do some more investigating. This is the kind of thing treasure hunters like me dig. Get it? Oh, skill up, nice. Do you know Grimoire? No, I've never heard of it. What is it? Legend has it that those who can get a hold of it can get access to many special powers. But that's just another fable, right? It's said that Earthmates can find it. Have you heard of the Emery Flower? They say they take such a long time to grow. I'd love to see that flower sometime in my lifetime. Emery flowers are, I believe, her favorite gift, but they take over a year to grow, and as such, not very viable. Hello. But all those caves are strange in their own way. I can't explain how, but something is strange. So I meant to give this to you forever ago. I'm sorry. Wow, I was looking for a wind crystal for so long. I'm so happy to get this. Sharon is now our friend, actually. That was enough to put her over, which is ridiculous considering we gave Camus like two or three of those uh, warrior certificates and he's like, nah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I talk to you every day, I give you a few of your favorite gifts and you're just like, eh. <laughs> okay. Chop down all the logs here, and by all the logs I mean the one stump. I think what we're going to do is we are going to grab these and we're going to go take on the boss. I figure we took on the last one so overpowered, we might as well see if we're strong enough to take on this one. I'm not sure what the recommended level or anything is, but um, yeah, I guess during the last run of this place I might have covered all the monsters. 
Huh, I hadn't even thought about it that way. But I guess I'll have a little insert there of me talking about them. That's weird to think about. But yeah, we don't have to fight any of these monsters, which is fantastic. Or at least, should all the guides be correct on that? Because I read it in multiple places, so they better have been correct. Or else I'm gonna look like an absolute fool. Slash, you know, have already put in the video that it's false and I'm gonna look like a fool in a couple episodes or an episode or whatever. So there's a huge amount of wood down here, so after we're done with the boss, I figure I might as well use up all my rune points on these. Yep, it's true. Okay, uh, what to say before we get into this? Remember that should you get inflicted with status effects during any battle, you can always use this spell. It has a slight wind-up time, so be careful not to be hit again or else you'll be interrupted. Yeah. Meanwhile, the potions heal 150 HP, and they do not have any wind-up time. They're instant use, so use them if you're in trouble. Go into your menu, do not try to equip them with L and B, it's just a bad idea. Let's try this. Whoa, look at those eyes! Chimera, HP 460, Defense 5, Magic Defense 20, Fire Defense 70, Wind Defense 30, Earth Defense 30, Water Defense 80. He can lunge at you, he can bait you, he has a water laser, a freeze breath attack, and when in critical mode, his water laser will have four beams instead of two. As is accustomed for most bosses, he has no drops, and cannot be tamed. The Chimera is a fast enemy who will attack rarely. The easiest way to attack him is during his spellcasting. In critical mode, only attack during spellcasting. Otherwise, have fun. That's a Chimera! This is the first time I've ever encountered one. It looks pretty powerful. You got that right. This thing is lethal. This is as far as I go. One should always know when to, when it's time to quit, Raguna. Don't you forget that. Oh crap, I thought there was a longer thing. I was actually drinking water. Okay, let's have him. So if you stop moving, he'll lunge at you. Whenever he does that scream... Oh, that... Okay, so whenever he does his ice attack, that's your time to attack. Get a full combo in during that. He lunges whenever he does this. He's trying to bait you when he's doing that because he can see via his tail. And stay away from him when he does the fire attack. Just keep running in a circle around him. I didn't do it very well because he was in a corner. I was really confused because I thought that was a level up and I thought he died. Uh, there we go. There we go. This is the bad phase for him because he's such a fast boss anyway. Okay, get out of his range because I can. Here we go, he'll lunge. And he'll hit with four ice times. Four, four times the ice. Two times the ice? Four uh, laser beams of ice. Still the time to hit him. It's actually pretty much the only time to hit him now that he's this fast. We're not having any trouble, though. I might have ground too far. <laughs> Come on, use your spell. hoping hitting him would actually just knock him out of that cycle. There we go. And that's it. That's the boss battle. You saw a few different strategies of running around, hitting. Um, I'm a bit strong, so I was able to tank some hits, and I also had two potions and everything, so I wasn't concerned. Whew, I was able to send that thing back to its own world. Hey, you're the man, Raguna. You saved another lost monster. I couldn't just let it roam around here. 
You know, I think you fight with a certain noble flair, Raguna. Really? Well, I've never fought before, so maybe I'm not the best judge. Oh. <laughs> Raguna, you're okay! I was worried you weren't able to escape! Xavier, I didn't expect to find you in here. I'm investigating the secrets of this cave, too. You're not the only one trying to get to the bottom of this, Raguna. Oh, really? So, what did you find out? Uh, well, actually, we just started. In other words, nothing? Hey, what are you trying to say? Come on, you two, just settle down. It won't do any good to fight in here. Says the guy who just finished fighting a chimera in here. Uh, I wasn't fighting, I was just stating the truth. And besides, Xavier ran off and abandoned you, Raguna. I didn't abandon him, Raguna just didn't flee fast enough. Did it ever occur to you that he may need your help? Yeah, but the door lo locked shut again. So even your help accounted to nothing. Oh yeah? Well, you just wait and see, Mist. I won't let Raguna steal all the glory. I'm out of here. What's gotten into Xavier? He's been acting so strange lately. You mean... You don't know? Know what? Poor Xavier. What are you talking about? Oh, um, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. <laughs> huh? Okay, well, I'd better get going too. Catch you later. And we're done with Tauros Cave. That was... Yeah. That was a very short cave. <laughs> Uh, it, once you know that trick that you don't have to do it all at once, you just have to beat the cave and then beat the boss another day, that becomes so much easier. Hello. That camera must also be living happily in its original world. Raguna, this is all thanks to you. Amazing! Hello. Say, Raguna, you're pretty handsome. Oh, um, I didn't mean anything by that. Don't get me wrong. Miss and I have been friends since childhood, but for some reason, she sees me as a rival. I'm not sure if that's her or you. What's your favorite season, Raguna? Personally, I like spring. Okay, so we're not going to be able to talk to everyone about beating this until tomorrow, but... You know, for now, let, you know, let the gossip spread, let everyone start talking about it. Let's head back into Tauros Cave. Because I didn't really mean to teleport out of there. I'm kind of... A silly, silly person who said he was going to waste all of his RP on all the wood down there and then didn't because he's not always sensible and sometimes forgets things. Eh, whatever. So much wood, so little time. Which actually reminds me, we have 274 currently. For now, I'm going to focus on destroying all the logs, that way, you know, more rooms pops up to spawn more logs. I don't quite have the RP to actually get all these stumps. I say that, but I'm actually almost ready to level, so I might do that while I'm in here. Here we go. Level up. I still have three hours to get to the thing, so use up all my HP here and then head back to the bathhouse. It only costs nine now. This should put us down to... Ow. Seriously, whoever thought that that noise was okay should be fired. And I know it's probably no one's fault. It's probably just, you know, how it was programmed or whatever it was, but... God, that's awful. Good evening. I wonder why Melody dresses like that. Well, I suppose that's what makes her so unique. There's nothing like a hot bath to unwind after a hard day's work, so don't go thinking I come here just to see Melody. Xavier doesn't like baths much. What do you think about that? Oh, Mr. Yuna, here for a bath? Yeah. Baths are so relaxing. I like coming here. Miss Melody and I are friends. I was waiting for you. You're the town's new hero in that you've defeated Chimera. Interesting. Hero, you say? So I'm a fool who didn't finish planting all the seeds he had because I just saw the one stack and went, oh yeah, this sounds about right, right? And now I just use up the last of my RP here. Getting ever closer to getting that new house that I've always dreamed of. Okay, I'd say we're done here. 
I did not grab that. So now I can do that. So that's actually a good way to do this, actually. Okay, let's get inside. So at the end of this episode, at the end of this day, we are currently sitting at level 20 with some pretty good stats. We're sitting at 422 wood, 7,558 G. We have two friends and one best friend up there. Our farming's already level 15. Our swordsmanship is already level 13. Our walking's already level 11. And the rest of our stats are starting to get there as well. I'd say we're doing pretty well for ourselves here. So guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon, we're going to be moving on. I'm going to talk to everyone around town, get access to the next cave by any means necessary. And we're just going to keep on moving on. I'll see you all next time.